All right, listen to me. It's about to go down. It's about 5.45 p.m. on Thursday evening, still at Kentucky Lake. Probably, you know, if I can't be in heaven, I probably want to be somewhere on Kentucky Lake fishing. That's just my thing. It's where my thoughts run wild. It's where I'm able to, you know, really touch base with God. It's kind of like, I guess, Jesus when he would always, even though he'd preach to the crowds, he'd always escape to be by himself so that he could talk to God alone. This is my secret closet out here on Kentucky Lake. But here, it's about to go down. What do you mean it's about to go down? Here's the thing. If you don't believe that you can ever have anything great, you won't have anything great. I don't care what you're going through in life. You have got to believe greatness is upon you. At any point in time, greatness can overtake you. I talked in our last session about the floodgates opening up. Here at Kentucky Lake, they've got 22 floodgates. And I've never seen all 22 of them open, but they say when they're open, the torrent of water comes out at such a voracious pace that it sometimes kills the fish that's down below. Wouldn't you like to have the floodgates, all 22 of your floodgates open and overtake you and blessing you? I need that blessing right now. I don't know about you, but I need that blessing. You know, I wouldn't mind a fish taking my pole over right now either, but I need that blessing. I need that blessing in my family, in my finances, on my job. I need to be overtaken. Lord, open the floodgates for me. You know, this recession that we're going through, economy has been crazy, but yet we've been talking about increase. We've been talking about overflow. What are you talking? You know, I always say, man, words have power. You will be what your words enunciate that you have been speaking. I'm speaking greatness. I'm speaking overcoming. My first book, Fight for Your Life. You know, I talked about the fight that it takes in life. You can't get nowhere by laying down. You got to fight. And the fight's not against your opponent. The fight is really in you. It's the enemy within me. Who is that enemy in you that's holding you back? What is that thing? What is that crack in your surface that's holding you back and that's overflowing and overtaking you in the wrong way? We want the overflow to be positive. We want the overflow to be that new vehicle that you want, that new dream that you want, uh, that, that uh, uh, going to college. You know, going down to the department and making sure you sign all the forms because you've been lingering. You've been procrastinating. Stop procrastinating. Get up off your seat or do nothing. And let's go make this thing happen. Life is short. Somebody who lived yesterday ain't living today. How you living? That's what I said last time. How are you living? See, we want to be living strong. We want to be living large and in charge. And we've got a God that wants us to live large and in charge. So what's stopping us? What's stopping us? This thing between our two ears, this thing called a brain, this thing called negative self-talk. We got to stop negative self-talk and stop, start positive self-talk. Drive to the gas station and put some more fuel in the tank and let's get to rolling. Pedal to the metal, baby. Pedal to the metal. We can't just make it just cruising. Sunday's cool. You can cruise on Sunday, but Monday through Saturday, we got to be pedal to the metal. We got to make our dreams come to fruition. We got things to do for people who are in need that's less fortunate. Because when we get the chance, and we have a chance to make an impact on the world, we must do that. Because it's not just about me. It's not just about you. It's about the lives that we can touch. Get ready. The floodgates are about to open, all 22 of them. The floodgates are about to open. There's going to be a torrent. Uh, the rain is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. My pastor preached a few weeks ago, are you broke enough? Are you broken up? Haven't you been through that enough? Haven't you been with the wrong guy enough? Haven't you been with the wrong lady enough? I know I have. I've been through that. I talked about it in Fight for Your Life, trying all these different women, thinking that's going to fill the void that's within my soul. It don't happen. Stick with the love of your soul, and his name is Jesus Christ. All right, I'm through messing with you. I'm through messing with you, but again, how are you living? It's about to go down. This has been Winston Bennett, Kentucky Lake. Go get it.